Vasquez is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member. Secretary Yellen, in July 2021, the IMF Board of Directors found that climate change is an existential threat that poses critical macroeconomic and financial policy challenges that will confront all its members in the decades to come. How is the Treasury Department working to integrate the macroeconomic effects of climate change into the IMS core activities? Well, we are concerned about um, integrating it into um, both the IMF's work, but also perhaps more important, the work of the multilateral development banks. Um, the, the multilateral development banks, um, we think, need to evolve um, the work that they do to move from focusing purely on country-specific challenges um, that affect poverty to um, responding better to global challenges, including climate change and pandemics, as well as fragility and conflict. And um, we have spearheaded a process to evolve the work mission operating um, modes and, and strategies um, of, of the World Bank, starting with the World Bank, to be able to better address these challenges. This is something that the new president of the World Bank will be deeply involved in. Um, and, you know, if the IMF uh, addressing climate change is not uh, the core mission, but they are certainly involved in evaluating uh, climate change as it impacts a country and its possible macroeconomic stability. Thank you. And Secretary Yellen, I have been concerned about the rapid speed at which Silicon Valley Bank grew in size and complexity, and I'm considering legislation on the issue. The Fed's review of the bank's failure notes a similar concern. As chair of the FSOC, did this concern you as well? Well, it certainly did concern me, um, the set of um, banking problems that were touched off by the failure of this bank. And um, the, the Fed produced um, quite quickly a report on its supervision of Silicon Valley Bank that did point to deficiencies. After all, this was a very rapidly growing bank and um, it had a unique structure that potentially made it vulnerable to runs. So, so um, that is a matter that it is appropriate to um, address uh, by the banking, banking supervisors. Thank you. As chair of the FSOC, do you believe regulators have all the tools necessary to ensure that as a bank grows in size and complexity, particularly over a short period of time, heightened regu regulatory and supervisory standards are able to be quickly applied. I believe that the regulators, the bank regulators, do have the authority to put in place um, effective regulations and supervision to address these issues. Um, some of the supervisory standards were um, relaxed, and um, we think it's appropriate, the president thinks it's appropriate, and I think the Federal Reserve thinks it's appropriate to revisit some of the changes and also to shore up um, bank supervision. I too believe it's appropriate. Thank you for that answer. Uh, CDFIs are critical to our LMI and underserved communities. Recently, I have heard concerns from CDFIs about a new certification proposal from the CDFI fund that could make it difficult for CDFIs to lend in the communities they serve and would undermine the ability of CDFIs to effectively inject funds into communities that desperately need support. Are you aware of the proposal from the CDFI fund? Um, and I, I'm aware that the um, there's a plan to update 
the CDFI certification process. That's something that hasn't been reviewed for about 25 years. And um, you know the, the potential importance of the CDFI designation. Madam Secretary, your, the gentlelady's time has expired. You can answer the rest for the record.